Wait for it. Wait. And now! I'm coming for you, Pangolin. No, Leo. A car is coming. Fly back up. Ah. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. can catch this one, hero. Oops. Leo, I hope you didn't destroy the computer. We gotta check it out now. Okay, Katie. I'm right behind you. See you later, hero. I hope my computer's okay. Computer! You're all right! Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. There's an animal stuck in the middle of the road, and cars are moving by really fast. It looks like some type of scaly reptile. I need your help to save it. We'll be right over, Zari. Please, hurry. Ranger out. Ranger out. We have to go right now. We can find out more information about the animal on the way there. Don't worry. I'm here. And I won't take my eyes off you. Hello? Oh, yes, Mommy. Uh, got it, Mommy. <gasps> oh, no! Where did it go? What did you find out about the reptile, Katie? It's not a reptile, Leo. The animal Zari found is a Sunda pangolin. It's a mammal. And one of the few known to be covered in scales from head to toe. Pangolins are nocturnal, shy, and solitary. A shy mammal with scales? Cool! Hi, Zari. Hi, Zari. The animal on the road is a Sunda pangolin. Yeah, about that. I, um, lost it. Oh, no. It must be around here somewhere. Let's spread out and search. Jetpack activate. activate! Time to roll! Where are you, Pangolin? Great idea, Hero! Now let's see if we can spot the Pangolin. <gasps> there it is! I see it! <gasps> the Pangolin turned into a ball? We need to get it off the road quick! I can dash out and pick it up! No! It's too dangerous, Zari! I've got another idea. I'll swoop down and grab the pangolin. Katie, Zari, tell me when there are no cars. Be careful, Leo! I'm ready! Wait for it! Wait! And now! I'm coming for you, pangolin! No, Leo! A car is coming! Fly back up! Ah. Whoa. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! You're safe now, Leo. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. But the pangolin is still stuck in the middle of the road. Something's wrong with it, Ranger Rocky. It turned into a ball. Don't worry, Junior Rangers. That's the pangolin's way of protecting itself. When Sunda pangolins feel threatened, they curl up into a tight ball to cover vulnerable parts like their face and belly. The scales act as a piece of armor and protects them from being eaten by predators. Their scales are so tough, even tigers can't bite through them. But are pangolin scales tough enough to protect it from being run over by a car? Definitely not. However, you need to find a solution that doesn't put you in danger. I know what to do, Ranger Rocky. We can use the jetpack. I'll use my tablet to control the jetpack from here. We won't have to go out onto the road at all. Excellent idea, Katie. Okay, Katie, let's do this. And activate. Watch out for that car. Another one's coming your way. Almost got you, Pangolin. <gasps> car! I see it. Gotcha, Pangolin. Whoa! Don't let it fall. Phew. That was close. It's okay, Pangolin. You're safe now. 
What's that smell? Ugh. Yuck! It's so bad! That's coming from the pangolin. Pangolins produce a foul smell as a form of defense. The pangolin must still be afraid. What else can we do to make it feel safe again? Let's give the pangolin some space. Look! The pangolin is uncurling! Goodbye, pangolin! Stay safe! Don't cross any more roads! That was an intense rescue, but I'm glad we got the pangolin to the other side of the road safely. <sighs> Off to shower and bed. <gasps> ah! This glow-in-the-dark tennis set is so cool! Heads up, Katie! Oof. Ow. Katie! Hero! Are you okay? I'm fine, but my racket isn't. Oh, we'll have to get it fixed later. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Leo, help! There's a huge spider at my window! Wow, that is huge. Are you okay? I'm fine, but what do I do about it? Let's use the computer to see what species it is. Stay calm and hang tight, Zari. Let's see. It's a golden orb spider. They can grow as big as an adult's hand. The golden orb spider usually lives in rainforests, but they adapt well to urban environments too. Golden orb spiders use venom, which is a kind of poison to stop their prey from struggling once they've been caught in their web. But no worries, while their bites can hurt, they prefer not to bite humans. So all we need to do is stay away. But it's a bit hard to stay away from it when it's right there. I can't close my window with it hanging there. Don't worry, Zari. We'll help you move it away. Ranger out. Let's go catch a spider. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, go. we go! Sorry, we're here! Where are you? Over here! Why are you hiding? I'm scared! There's nothing to be afraid of. We just have to take it to a safe place in the forest. <gasps> Where is the spider? It could have gone outside. We have to find it and make sure it's safe. Let's go. It's such a big spider. Where could it even hide? There, I think I see it. Oh man, it's just a stain. Maybe it's on the other side of the building. I hear it too, hero. Whoa! Oh, just a cat. We've searched everywhere. This side of the building, that side of the building, behind walls, inside bushes. Uh, Leo, look behind you. Behind me? Ah! <coughs> I'm fine. This is our chance. Quick, get the spider before it disappears. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was collecting data for research about spider webs when I ran into one and got stuck in it. We're dealing with a spider too. We're trying to get it away from here before anyone hurts it. Very noble, Leo. But you might hurt it with your grabber. So how can we get him to safety? Actually, the spider is a she. Female golden orb spiders grow much larger than the males, so it's easy to tell them apart. The strands of their webs are thin, but also very strong. They're even strong enough to catch small birds. What makes this spider's silk unique is its golden color. This is where the golden orb spider gets the golden part of its name from. I trust you junior rangers will make sure the golden orb spider is safe? We got it, Ranger Rocky. Good luck, junior rangers. So, how will we get the spider back to the forest without hurting it? I have an idea! Careful, and got it! We can
can use the spider's old web to transport her safely to the forest. Great thinking, Katie. Let's go. Where did the spider go now? She's up there. Jetpack, activate. I got her. Well done, Katie. Now back to the forest. You'll be safe here, Miss Spider. She's building a new web. I think she likes it. And she's safe from harm. Ugh. I think it's time to sleep. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to get the golden orb spider somewhere safe. Hi, Junior Rangers. You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call an adult to help you. Ranger out. Is this thing loud enough? Hero, there you are. Leo, I could hear you all the way across the garden. Really? <laughs> Oops, sorry, Katie. Huh? What do you... I forgive you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Leo, I really need your help. I lost Patches. Calm down, Kai. Who's Patches? <sighs> Patches is my sister's pet rabbit. I brought Patches to Rabbit Island to play. Rabbit Island? Yeah, it's an island full of rabbits. <gasps> full of rabbits? That sounds fun. It was fun until I lost Patches. I can't find her anywhere. Don't worry, Kai. The Junior Wildlife Rangers are here to help. We'll be right over. Thanks, guys. See you on Rabbit Island. Ranger out. Rabbit Island is a small island just off the coast of Japan. There are hundreds of rabbits on the island, and it is a popular tourist destination. How did so many rabbits end up on one small island? It is said that all the rabbits came from a small group of rabbits brought there by some children. Oh no! It also says that cats and dogs are not allowed on the island. Oh, dogs are not allowed? Sorry, Hero. You can't come with us this time. <laughs> Look at all the rabbits. I'm in heaven. They're so cute. Can I take you home? Hi, guys. Thanks for hopping by. Anytime, Kai. My sister is going to be so mad if I don't find Patches. Do you have a picture of her? I sure do. Here. I see. Patches is a white rabbit with black patches around her eyes. But Patches is special. There's a patch of fur that's shaped like a heart near her tail. Hmm. There are loads of white rabbits with black patches here. It's going to be difficult to spot a heart. I was hoping Hero could help sniff her out. <laughs> Hero, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Aw, I can't say no to that. I guess you really want to join us. I don't know, Leo. Dogs are not allowed. Please. We need Hero's help. <sighs> Fine. But you'll have to be on your best behavior, Hero. And you'll have to wear a disguise. How about some rabbit ears? <coughs> awesome. Here, Hero. Do you smell patches anywhere? Wait for us, hero! Uh, I think Hero is a little distracted. No, Hero, stay! It's no wonder dogs are not allowed on the island. How are we going to look for patches now? We can simply use my x-ray vision to see what's happening underground. Great idea! What do you see, Kai? I see lots of rabbits. Let's find some food to lure the rabbits out. Or 
We can use a carrot smell bomb. It's going to smell like carrots everywhere. The rabbits are going to love it. One carrot smell bomb coming right up. It's working. But we're back to square one. With all the rabbits around, it's impossible to find patches. Hmm, does patches respond to anything special? Well, oh, oh, patches fall asleep when my sister sings her a bedtime lullaby. So, if someone sings a lullaby and a rabbit falls asleep, we'll know that's patches. But how are we going to sing to all the rabbits on the island? With this, of course. Great idea, Leo! We should be able to spot a sleeping rabbit from here. Ready, Kai? <clears throat> patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Huh? Something's wrong. None of the rabbits are falling asleep. Let me try. Patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Nope, no sleeping rabbit either. Are we doing something wrong? What if it has to be a girl's voice? Me? All right, for Patches. Patches, Patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. The rabbits are running away. Was my singing that bad? Look, there's a rabbit asleep. White rabbit, black patches around his eyes, a heart-shaped patch near his tail. Patches! It's her! It's really her! We found patches! Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Katie. That was some awesome ranger work. Thanks, Leo. And just in time, it's my sister calling to check on Patches. Can we keep today's mission a secret? <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.